Hello everyone, welcome to T4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use a layout builder module from code. Okay, so first uh, you have to enable layout builder module. Let's go to extend page and enable it. So layout builder module contains uh, two modules you need to enable for it. One is layout discovery and one is a layout builder. So layout discovery is a base module which provides all the API for you. And layout builder module is built on top of the layout discovery module. And this provides the interface to configure the layout for your content type here, okay? So let's enable both module and save, install. Once the both modules are installed, you have to go to uh, structure, content type, and I, I already created new content type for this. So I'm going to layout builder showcase and manage display. So here at the bottom, you have an option to enable a use layout builder, click on it and save it. So this option allows you to create a particular layout for all the content for this particular content type, okay? It will not be applicable for other content type. So whatever the content you are creating here, all will be applicable for this layout option. Okay, once you save it, once you save and you scroll down, you can see the fields all gone. So you have to manage the layout from here. Click on it. Here you can see it is taking you to the view page. So this is how the uh, content will be uh, assigned now. If you want to see the preview, you can click on it. So it will show you how the uh, preview will be once all contents are added, okay? So let me remove the preview and uh, let's configure it. So first you have to add a section. Uh, inside the section, you have to create a block. Under the block, you have to add fields or any blocks or forms, whatever you want, you can add, okay? Let's add a section. Here you can add uh, what section you want, what type of layout you want, you can add. So I'm going to give two. So once you give, you can uh, define what with each column should have. So 50, 50 or 75, 25, 25, 75 or 33, 67, it's your wish, okay? I'm going to give uh, 50, 50 and label for it. I'm going to say 50, 50 column and add section. Once you add it, you can see here 50, 50 column is added. And when you click on add block, here you can see, uh, you can add any fields or blocks or menu or whatever you want user fields, whatever you want, you can add all in that area or else you can create your own custom block here. So I'm going to add a content type there. So content type, this setting form is a, field formatter form. So whatever you are having in the manage display, the same form will be appear here. So one is content type. Here I'm going to add um, change to date. So add, add block. Now I added both and I'm going to save it save the layout so once you save let's go to the content and create new content okay add content layout builder showcase here you have to create a new content layout builder showcase And term, any tags, ABC. And type of the content and save, okay? So once you save, when you see the content, you can see the layout which we created now. So content type is uh, layout builder showcase and change the time and remaining or all or uh, as per before, okay? So this is how you have to use layout builder module in your custom content type or any content type. So let's go to the content type again and go to manage display again. 
So here you have one more option. To enable a layout builder for a single content, you have to select this and save. So once this is done, and let me go and create one more content for layout builder showcase. So um, new content, okay. Um, X, Y, Z and type intermediate and save, okay. So once you saved, you can see the default layout now, what we configured. I want to change this layout. Once you enable that option in the manage display, you can see new menu tab here, that is layout. When you click on it, so here you can configure as per your wish for this particular content. I'm going to drag and drop the term there. under content type and here I'm going to add one more block. So that is going to be uh, authored by who and add block, okay. So once you save, save the layout and when you go view it, you can see term came here and the author also came here, okay. So let's see the previous content how it is now. So this is the old one, click on it. Here you can see it is using the previous, uh, the default layout. So the changes only apply to this particular layout since we used layout option for this particular content, okay? So this is how you have to configure and enable a layout builder module. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.